stealing keystrokes via sound, APT31 targets air-gapped ICSs, and versioning is being used in real-world Android attacks. All that coming up now on ThreatWire. <laughs> Greetings, I am Shannon Morris, and this is ThreatWire for August 8th, 2023. This is your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. I will not be at DEF CON this week, but I will be reporting on the news from here in my studio. Let's go ahead and jump right into the news. There are some concerning research forming from British universities this week about a new form of cyber attack that's really unique and pretty interesting. So picture this, you are typing away at your laptop, maybe you're chatting online with friends, you're typing out passwords, or even discussing sensitive information, but did you know that those innocent keyboard clicks could be leaking your data to malicious hackers? And no, I am not talking about key logging. This could happen via an air-gapped machine acoustically. A group of researchers have discovered a way to steal your keystrokes using just sound. Now, these folks have developed a deep learning model that can accurately predict your keyboard strokes recorded using a microphone with a jaw-dropping accuracy of 95%. And it gets worse. Even when they use Zoom for training, the prediction accuracy still dropped only slightly to 93%, which is a record high for that platform. Now you might be wondering, well, how in the world does this work? Well, it all starts with recording the sounds from your keyboard as you are typing. This can be done using a nearby microphone, an infected phone's microphone, or even through a rogue participant in a Zoom call who correlates the sounds with your typed messages. The researchers gathered tons of training data by pressing keys on a MacBook Pro and recording the unique sounds each and every single key produced. Then they transformed those sounds into waveforms and spectrograms, which are like visual representations of the sound waves. These help train their deep learning model, CoatNet, an image classifier specifically designed for this purpose. So why is this so alarming? Well, you can think about it. Your passwords, your private messages, your confidential discussions, and more could all be compromised. And unlike other hacking methods, acoustic attacks do not need any special conditions, just a device with a microphone. Now with the advances in machine learning and the abundance of devices with mics, these attacks are easier and more dangerous than ever. Now there are ways to protect yourself. The researchers suggest changing your typing style, using randomized passwords, and even adding fake keystrokes during voice calls. Now, while these may help, they are not entirely foolproof. Another technique is to evade attacks using biometrics or auto-filling password managers to remove the need to type in sensitive information. It seems that Chinese state-sponsored hackers are up to some seriously sneaky attacks. They have been targeting industrial organizations with a brand new malware that's got experts intrigued. Critical systems are often air-gapped, which means that they are isolated from the regular internet and network to keep them secure. These attackers have found a way to steal data from those isolated systems using a whole new kind of malware. Researchers over at cybersecurity company Kaspersky recently uncovered a new kind of malware being used by a group called App31 or APT31, also known as Zirconium or Judgment Panda or Bronze Vinewood or Violet Typhoon, depending on who you talk to at the time. They have been targeting industrial organizations in Eastern Europe. According to reports, they are using 15 different implants, including one that has been seen before called 14 High. The attacks happen in three different stages. The first stage, this is when the hackers establish persistence and they access the compromised systems, gathering data for reconnaissance. Then they drop specialized malware onto the system, specifically designed to steal data from air gap systems. Finally, they use implants that upload the collected data to their command and control servers. The malware they are using has different modules. One module profiles removable drives. It collects files, it takes screenshots, and a lot more. Another module infects removable drives with a sneaky trick involving a legitimate McAfee executable. And then there's even a variant that acts as a payload dropper, a keylogger, a screenshot tool, you name it, it's got it built in. There is a big deal about this because these 
these air gap systems are usually considered super secure. They have often been used in critical infrastructure, so any breach could have massive consequences. And these attacks are not just using run-of-the-mill methods. They're employing sophisticated techniques like encrypted payloads and memory injections to stay under the radar. The researchers also noticed that this threat actor group is getting smarter. They have started using cloud services like Dropbox and Yandex for their command and control operations. So this makes it even trickier to detect their activities, and it adds an extra layer of complexity to the attacks. It's a great reminder that no system is truly immune to cyber threats, even if it's air-gapped. Even the most isolated, supposedly secure systems can be compromised if the attackers are determined enough. And that's where organizations really need to step up their game. They need to stay vigilant and adopt strong cybersecurity measures. Biggest of shout outs to my Patreon supporters, especially my golden s'mores and their fur babies for making the show possible since we do not have any traditional ads from YouTube on the show at all. And a huge thank you to Michael and Yosef for being a part of the s'mores at patreon.com slash Shannon Morse. That is my new Patreon page for the show where I will be posting all of the perks for patrons, I already am, including early access to this very video. If you are currently a patron on the ThreatWire page, you can switch on over to the new one before the end of the year. Make sure to do it before then so you don't lose access to your perks. Let's go ahead and finish out today's episode with my last top story, which is all about malicious Play Store apps. Yeah, it's just another day in Google Play Store apps being malicious. <laughs> Cyber criminals are using a technique called versioning to fool the Google Play Store system and slide malware onto unsuspecting Android devices. This technique is all about updates. A developer releases a seemingly harmless app, but later they update it with a malicious component. Now they use a method which is called dynamic code loading or DCL to push updates from their server and inject malicious code right into the devices. So imagine your app becoming a backdoor for cyber criminals. That's basically what they're aiming for. According to Google's Cybersecurity Action Team's 2023 Threat Horizons report, this is used to steal targeted credentials, data, and finances. There are a few real-world examples of this attack. So for example, a screen recording app, which is called iRecorder Screen Recorder. At first, it seems harmless, chilling on the Play Store for nearly a year, but then then it got updated with sneaky spyware to track users. Then there's SharkBot, a financial trojan posing as security and utility apps. It initiates unauthorized money transfers and it goes undetected by appearing harmless at first glance. Now these bad actors do not stop there. They are even releasing applications with limited functionality on the Play Store so they don't raise any suspicions. Once you download the app, it pulls in the full malware version and you are left with a compromised device. Device. So to defend your own devices, first things first, stick to trusted sources when downloading apps and enable Google Play Protect. It will send you alerts if a potentially harmful app is detected on your device. And if you are in an enterprise setting, consider extra layers of protection like limiting app resources or using mobile device management platforms. I'm Shannon Morris. Remember to stay vigilant on the internet, stay secure, and I will see you on the internet.